Hello, and welcome to the ninth and final video in the SolidWorks Composer Quick Start Guide, a new video series designed to orient new users in Composer and familiarize them with some of its basic functionality. Throughout this series, we've talked about the many ways you can use your existing CAD assemblies to create insightful deliverables. In today's video, we're going to cover how you can export these fantastic creations to commonly used file types such as PDF, Word documents, and HTML. Since each of these processes is relatively complicated, we're going to tackle each of these one at a time in a three-part episode. Let's get started with PDF. To take full advantage of all the techniques I will demonstrate in this video, you'll need to have both Adobe Acrobat and the Composer plugin for Acrobat, which is automatically installed with Composer and the Composer player. You can see that I've already pulled up the Traka assembly within SolidWorks Composer. Now, all I need to do is export it. The simplest way to do that is to go to the File menu, go to Publish, then click Publish to PDF. Uncheck the Use Custom Template box and select the SMG option underneath the Embedded 3D File menu. Now save it. If we open it, you can see it uses a pre-installed SolidWorks Composer template. In the center is a navigable 3D version of our assembly. This is the easiest way to export the file, but not necessarily the most flexible. We can also add Composer interactive components to our own custom templates. Let's open one of these in a PDF reader. In this case, I'm using Adobe Acrobat. I'll go to the Tools menu and select the Edit Form button, then the Radio button. Now, by dragging the space where I want it to go, I'll insert it into the PDF. When the menu appears, be sure to name the button Seamage Replace. You must type the name in exactly as I have here. Now we can return to Composer. I'll go to the Publish to PDF menu again, but this time I'll check the Use Custom Template option and load the template I was editing in Composer. Now, if I export the Composer file, it will fill in the button that I created within the template. Using this technique, you can add Composer interactivity to your own custom-made PDFs. This does require some setup. We need to ensure that the Composer plugin for Acrobat has been installed. You can see that in one of the two windows I have here, I'm in the Plugins folder within the Program Files for Composer. In the other folder, I have the Plugin Files for Acrobat. I'll copy the four plugin files to the Acrobat folder, then go to the Preferences menu within Acrobat. I'll go to the Security tab and turn off the Enable Protected Mode checkbox. Now, our Composer files will be interactable within their PDFs. That covers the basics of exporting your Composer files to PDF. Make sure you're subscribed to the SolidWorks YouTube channel to stay up to date with the last two episodes in this series, which will cover exporting to Word and HTML respectively. We hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you next time.